Part of Greece's bailout deal includes selling 50 billion dollars, 50 billion euros, I should say, even more dollars worth of state assets. Bloomberg's David Gura is at one of them right now, the old Athens airport. Uh, so, David, any any luck? You see any buyers kicking the tires there? We haven't seen many people here at all, Matt. This is actually a very astonishing place. It is three times the size of Monaco, 15. 100 acres and the building as you can see behind me just in total dilapidation i went up and peeked in the window uh coffee cups are still out the signboard still read flight to new york coming up uh it's a really bizarre place to be there was some development here, development here after it closed in 2001 uh, when the olympics were here in 2004 they built a few facilities on site those since have fallen into dilapidation so this is just as you say one of many sites one of many businesses throughout greece that would be up for privatization if this deal goes through David, I drove by that airport a couple of weeks ago when I was in Athens, and I couldn't believe the degree to which the previous governments had treated it. You know, what you just alluded to in some of the images that we saw. Although LaGuardia is not much better, let's be honest. So if Mr. Stathakis, right, the economy minister, is right, he spoke to Olivia earlier today, and he said, oh, we don't feel like we want to privatize these assets. What good... Would 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 uh, would, a, would an old airport like that be if it doesn't get sold to somebody to, for for redevelopment purposes? If it just sits idle, if you will, on a temporary basis in some bailout fund. You know, it, it has been sitting here idle, as you say. Just across the street from here is a really beautiful stretch of beach. Uh, it's easy to imagine how this could be developed, if there could be housing, if there could be retail. Uh, you know, were it to say, you could see it continuing to sit idle. I don't think that much would change. Uh, it, it really is totally vacant. We've seen a handful of people come through. Oddly, the city bus continues to come through here every 15 or 20 minutes or so. Picking up a passenger clearly has come over from the beach, but otherwise really a ghost town. Any uh, any idea about Acropolis or the Parthenon? Are those up for sale? Uh, Matt, that's been that's been bandied about uh, kind of facetiously. What is up is uh, the Hellenic Post, the local postal service, the country's postal service. That's 90 percent state owned. The petroleum company has a huge government stake. Uh, so those plus the port of Piraeus, obviously big for passengers and for cargo, things that could be privatized uh, if the government goes forward with this. I feel like they sold even if they sold all those things about which I'm facetiously joking, they still wouldn't raise 50 billion euros. David. Thank you so much. It's incredibly hot, I know. So standing out there in 105 degrees is weather. on the ground in Athens, continuing to report.